All right, uh, you're watching Muzu.tv. I'm with a band who don't need any introductions. I'm not even going to give them one. It's One Direction! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, okay, now, before we kick off, we've just been talking about the many accents of One Direction. And Niall Horan, of course, is from Mullingar, in right smack in the middle of Ireland, and he's yeah, been affecting a really good London accent. So, really Niall, good. Hit, hit us up there, come on. Well, oh, well, mate, um, just here we are on Muzu TV, do you know what I mean? We're just chilling out, <laughs> going on the late, late show tonight. Got my mate Harry here from Mullingar, do you know what I mean? He's going to show you how to do next, right. you know what I mean? So here's uh, Harry from Mullingar. How are you getting yeah. on, Harry? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, I got the train from Dublin Sligo and then stopped off Mullingar. <laughs> and then been drinking a couple of tinnies with me. Uh, with the boys. With the boys. With the boys. Yeah. You sounded Goodbye. vaguely Jamaican there, but I thought <laughs> it wasn't bad either. All right. Killing it. All right. <laughs> Fair enough. Joe's coming. Jordan. 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 We actually, we do know that your your Irish isn't bad either. Lola, Lola. Oh yeah, Conor's thought too. Conor's thought Tom Gamal, August Tufay. Tom Gamal. Yes. Not too bad. Doing the bed. Doing the bed. Doing the bed. Okay, it's going to be like that. August Pog Mahon. Oh, all right. Of course, One Direction, you guys, I suppose, are probably the big success story of the X Factor. So let's start there. If you're looking at the contestants this year and somebody will be the ultimate winner of X Factor, mm -hmm. what would your advice, Harry, be to somebody, whoever it is that wins? We think a massive part of it is to well, just, you know, remember, remember like where you've come from and yeah, just kind definitely. of, you know, know, know who you are and don't get caught up in it all and start, you know, believe in your own hype and stuff. Remember kind of what you are and just kind of stay grounded a bit. Okay. No, would you say the same? I would agree. And when you're on the X Factor, just enjoy yourself. And when, and when you do come off, as Harry said, keep grounded. And like, when we went back to the X Factor last week, it was a, it was like a it was a big like a big um, eye opener to us. Like okay. showed us where we came from and we knew everyone and stuff. And it was it was it's good to go back and stuff. Okay, excellent. Now, Lou, I didn't skip across you there, mate. Of course, I'm coming to yourself next. Thanks, Tell me, from the X Factor this year, is there anybody that One Direction would love to collaborate with? Little Mix. Yeah, we love we love Little Mix. We think. I think they, I don't know who's going to win this year, but I think they're going to be the big, the big name out of this year's X Factor. Yeah. Is that just kind of group sticking together or do you genuinely... No, it's don't? not. I think there really is a gap in the market for them, I think. I think they're just, they're really cool and, and, yeah. and they're already the, the furthest girl group ever to have... Yeah. Well, 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 on that, I suppose, like, the, if you want to say, like, the big girl group at the moment still remain Girls Aloud, like Liam, do you reckon they have the potential to go as far as, say, Girls Aloud have gone? Yeah, I think they do, because they're a little bit different. Like, they haven't gone for that whole look that Girls Aloud, which is kind of, like, smart. They've gone for, like, the normal kind of, you know, everyday stuff. Everyday, every kind of, like, girl like, next like, They turn up every week, they haven't got high heels on, you know, they're not dressed up to the nines, they kind of just turn out, you know, everyday girls. Trainers. It's brilliant. And they still they, look hot as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they're yeah. kind of yeah. like a girl version of us, like, they're just like Yeah, that's that's like the girls that we'd go to school with looking at them, like yeah. we're kind of the boys that you go to school with. I do you think they? I think they're great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're in agreement. Yeah. Dane well, loves them. Yeah, well, obviously, I mean, is there anybody in the mix that you kind of, you know, you'd like to collaborate with particularly? Anybody that sticks out for you? Any collaborate with any collaborate. And the nature of the collaboration, Not maybe. Necessarily, just I, I, I just think they'll mix a call. Cool. Doesn't have to be a scene collaboration. It could be a collaboration of of love. Yeah. Like yeah. Ben and Jerry. No, I know what you're saying. Nah, no, 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 I'm, I'm just saying they yeah. make cool. Okay, fair enough. Listen, we're pretty chips. Apart from like the X Factor, I mean, like you're, you know, you've gone, you've, you've done it. You're out there Harry. now. Apart from bands in the X Factor, is there anybody that you would love to collaborate going forward? Say? Um, Bruno. yeah, I think all those lads would be in agreement with this. I think Bruno Mars. Okay, yeah. he's smashing. He he's amazing. amazing at the minute, and the song that he's, he's just whacking number one after number one out, and he just he's wicked. Do you know what? His performance is a massive. Yeah, he's yeah. Sick. See, I saw like a, another one he did the day for, for, for MTV thing and his performance is just every time oh, he does it, he, yeah, he tries to do it different to what the record is and stuff and I think that's amazing. He's just fearless, isn't he? Time. He's got yeah. so much charisma and confidence. He loves it. What is he, he loves it. What is the, he loves it. What is the he max him out though, I mean, from his music, like, obviously when you hear one of his tracks on the radio, you know instantly that's Bruno Mars. Oh, yeah. He's got a distinctive, distinctive voice tone, yeah. I was watching a video on YouTube the other day of, he, did, he, was, um, he was doing a, an impersonation of Elvis when he was five. 
and he, you could just tell his tone was starting to come out even that age. Really? He, just, he got a great, like, rocky kind of rough tone, it's very nice. Excellent. Cute. Now boys, we've got various questions from various different sources. I know you know all about Sugarscape, they've got some questions yeah. for you yes. today. Can we start off first of all by asking about the hair situation? Jedward have come out and said that they're not happy. They're not happy with One Direction. They claim that you guys, your hair is getting bigger to match Jedward. Zane, I'm coming straight to yourself. See, Do you want to respond? I never knew this until today. Yeah, yeah, there it goes up. Nah, man. I haven't tried to copy that. Nah, but, man. Um, nah, man. <laughs> what? It's more this James actually Steven. isn't true. Zane has posters of Jibwood in his, his room, room yeah. and he, all over his house. Yeah. So I, I, take I want to be just like that. Like Why have you told him? <laughs> he has life size Jibwood in his house. <laughs> life size Jibwood? He, st yeah. he stands in the middle of the night. I've got Barack Obama, he's got Jibwood. Wow, that's that's quite the boy group you yeah. could have going there. <laughs> Barack Obama. And these two. And, and those two. <laughs> Lads, you could be looking for your P45s if you can continue to occur. Is Zane, like, roughly speaking, how high are you prepared to go on the hair front? Like, is it on the actually got a cut. I actually got a cut because I thought it was getting a bit crazy. Uh, it was getting a bit top Jedward. side. Yeah. Where was it? Yeah, like, it was yeah. getting a bit like, Yeah, it was like here. Jedward. So I, I just cut <clears> it off. Okay, so you were, you, were, you, were, you were a little bit worried that it was going the general direction. Yeah, perhaps. yeah, I was, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Yeah. Okay, general direction. Respect that. I think only they can do their hair first. Yeah. That's all. They're, they're the only two that could pull that look yeah. off. Yeah. Um, I have to ask you as well, Harry, and come to yourself. So this is the kind of the sensitive side of things. I know that you Whoa. were seen crying on the ITV2 documentary. Yes. Just start him again. Are you, are, you, are you a weeper? Are you somebody that just you you know cry what? easily? I, I wouldn't okay. say I was Reasons. a weeper. Um, King I just think, you know, <laughs> depending oh. on like stuff of what it is, mm -hmm. I think people like you know we're only human. Like sometimes, sometimes things affect you. So. Mm -hmm. Like if he falls over, grazes his knee. He's yeah, always you know, crying. Yeah, cool. He's crying. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and what about the, what about the rest of the boys? Do they cry? Is there anybody else that's a little bit? I think. I think. think I'm you know, we're not. Yeah, I get quite most. We're all just normal teenage lads. Like we're not robots. We we have feelings and. We, we go through things too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, would you cry in a movie? Like, yeah. No, yeah would you oh, cry? Yeah, I am what, for that. What yeah. movie would make you cry? <laughs> Seriously, oh, man. Yeah. Have you seen Click? No. no yeah. yeah. No, actually, actually, man, any any rom-com gets me. I'm, I'm not like... I don't think that no works that great. I just don't. I can't. <laughs> Zane, what was that mean? Say it, say what? I'm a bit. Say it. Are you serious? You'll meet some serious people. Oh, yeah. some serious business. Marley and Me, that's the one with Jennifer Aniston. Yes. Yes. I think he's hot. Can we give away the end of that? Lassie, man. Lassie. Have you seen. If you're a fan of Marley and Me and you're a fan of Lassie, yeah. Bambi. That's, that's oh, that is sad. Oh, yeah. That's a hard rush of that. Oh, that Bambi. really is. Bambi's oh, a hard rush. He's trying to find the Lion King quiet. At first he thinks it's Bambi. You know what I'm saying? Okay, well, Bambi. 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 Which one's Bambi? Bambi. 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 You start yeah. Which one's Bambi, Bambi now? Is that the one with the deer? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you know what you just said? When you said Bambi, pigs can't talk. So you get confused between Babe and Bambi. Oh, really? See, Bambi is a classic for a first date. Because at first he thinks it's a bit weird because she's like, why is he putting Bambi on? But then at the end she's like, and then just like, it's okay. Oh. I see them. There is method Big to your madness. Look. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> um, they're they're a band that obviously you know are very close in more than one way. Lads, I've got to ask you about musical inspiration. Yes. We've got you kind of said Bruno Mars. Is there anybody else that like from like like even classic boy bands that you kind of think that's who we want to be? Take that. Well, we've we've actually been told that we sound uh, our kind of music is like Pink meet McFly. Okay. Which we're Love very happy with. Yeah. But um, don't so those two. Yeah, yeah. Ne maybe next time we want to go a little bit. Yes. Pink to maybe like a bit more script. Pink fly like direction. But pink. Um, we, um, to me and me and Louis right the other day. No. <coughs> we got up, got a couple of teas in the morning, and we were watching yeah. uh, biggest boy bands top fifty. Oh, I love it. And you're and literally. Fingers. I was in bed. The whole time, I was supposed to get up, and I just stayed in bed watching these yeah, we classic Were you in it? Were you in it? Yeah, yeah, we were number eighteen. Eighteen. Out fifty. That's good. Shall we? That's all tight. Yeah. Do you, know yeah. I mean? Do you get excited? I mean, you're on like number one back for good. It's a classic. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Do you get excited when you see stuff like that? and You think, wow, we're actually like yeah, big yeah, time. Yeah, pretty big. <laughs> big <laughs> time. It's weird to think that. You're on the you wouldn't, you wouldn't kind of expect to see yourself in there, would you? Like, if you're yeah. watching it, we yeah. weren't watching it to watch ourselves. We were watching it literally, like, because it was just like bringing back. Everyone is a boy band. Kid, like. They hate to admit it, but they love a good and boy band. I so love a good boy band. No, well, you're in a good boy band, so that's that's convenient, no, isn't it? Yeah. Now, can I ask you a question? I'm going to go right across the line here, yeah. right? I'm going to ask you about your ultimate date. 
Okay, now this is fantasy football time. Pick whoever you want because oh, this, this goes worldwide. You know, you never know who's going to see it. So I'm going to start with your good self. What do you reckon, Harry? So, so what are my options? Your options are do, do I the pick? world. There's the canvas, okay. the world. What do I pick? You want to take someone up for a date. You yeah. want to show them a good time. So you want to have an interesting so you, you, you pick who you're taking and then where you're going. Yeah. And then where the and you're night gonna finishes up. Bambi. To make you know what's going to finish with Bambi? That's okay. what Harry does. He shows okay. them Bambi. To get them I crying. would take Caroline Flack. Oh! Woo! And I would go... Uh, <laughs> yes. Where are you yes. going to take so Caroline probably Flack? Probably dinner and a movie. Where would you take it if you haven't already? Um. I don't know what you mean. Oh, okay. Um, don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Somewhere else. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zip, 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 z